Some of you might have received a car that looks something like this in the mail about a recall on your DeWalt saw. And if you didn't receive the card, you may not be aware that there is a recall. This affects model numbers DWS 779 and 780, and also DHS 790. Now if you've got one of these model numbers, check your date code, because the date code is going to be from April 2019 to April of 2022. Also, check your serial number and make sure that you don't have a green dot after the serial number. If you do have a green dot, then your saw has been deemed okay and you don't qualify for the recall. And also look under this arm right here for a black dot. If you see the black dot, it's the same thing. Your saw has already been inspected and it's okay. Now these are parts that you can get free from DeWalt. So I'll post the link below for the recall so you can see if you qualify. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is get the blade off and out of the way. Now if you still have your blade removal tool, that's good. Or if you've lost it, one side was a Torx 30 and the other side was a six millimeter Allen wrench, okay? So I'm just gonna use my drill because it's a little faster. We need to loosen this bolt right here so that we can pop this up like that. All right, now we can access our blade. Okay, so on the other side, you're gonna to wanna to push in the blade locking button right here. And I'm just gonna use my uh, blade removal tool for this, the uh, six millimeter Allen side. Now remember, this is a backwards thread, so you're gonna to wanna to turn it to the right to loosen. It's not lefty loosey, righty tighty. It's righty loose and lefty tighty. Just get this retainer out of the way. Now we can remove our blade and be careful with the blade because it's sharp and it'll get you if you're not careful. All right, so here's your huckleberry right here where the back of the blade would have been. Got to get this out of the way. It's very simple. Just squeeze that like so, and it comes right out. It's just plastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my drill for this. It's much faster. Okay, so here's my new and improved part. It's new and improved. It just goes right back in the same way the old one came out. All right, so to get the bottom screw in, this part right here is in the way blocking the screw. So just to remove this, just squeeze this like you did on the last one. All right, but this time being careful because there is a spring in there that is very easy to lose. There's the spring right there, how it goes. That sucker will fall out and bounce from here to Tingbok 2. Make sure they're both tight. All right, so here's a picture of the inside of the bracket. That spring sits inside this middle hump right there. All right, so just make sure the spring is in that middle peg right there. Squeeze that back together and just like so. And just put the blade back on the same way it came off. Very straightforward. Making sure it's lined up in your new bracket. And there we have it. Good as new.